Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. All right, I don't know. Did I end up losing any stuff last time? Oh, hello. What do I get here? Some genie shoes. Plus one defense, plus six immunity. What are my current footwear? Four defense, four immunity. I'm going to stick with the ones I've got, but uh, that's pretty cool. That's Those are really good, but I think I like what I have. Uh, we'll see. I hope I didn't lose any stuff. Um, I don't know that I had too much I'd be worried about. Hopefully not. I was assuming that one's probably a bit safer. Uh, clear and sunny all day. Fortune teller says. Spirits are somewhat annoyed. Now, it does make me wonder, though, if that's... If you can go in there and just grind on baddies for the first bit in, like, a... Like, they're a little bit harder, but they're not, like... Is that a way to get at uh, level up your combat XP without going out to the desert? That's what I'm thinking. Because that one was, I was kind of thinking about that. I was like, it's weird that you don't have a recourse to like a really great, you know, grinding mine. And like I said, other batteries probably aren't worth as much, I'm going to guess, XP wise as those skulls, which seem meaner and probably worth more XP wise. I'm intrigued. I don't know. I have no... I'm, yeah, I just don't know. That would make sense to me, but like, eh, lots of things make sense to me that shouldn't. Oh, there you go. Someone dropped me off a thousand bucks to cover my medical expenses. That's it? Oh, I didn't lose stuff then? Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. Hey, Libby's Bowl. Okay, so we got one weird thing to crack. Uh, the Ancient Trove. I don't think I can put that in here, can I? No. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna figure out where to put. I mean, for now, I think I'm gonna put that right there. Because that, that makes that easy. So I can make 20 kegs. Yeah, this does make life a lot easier, doesn't it? We've got the iridium sprinklers. I could make a few of those. No real point, honestly, at this point, though. Um, right, and we've got the... Uh, Iridium Band. Uh, glows, attracts items, and increases damage by 10%. That one's 5 Iridium Bars, though, and 50 Void Essences. So it's like, it's all good stuff, but I don't know that I want to spend all my money on that yet. Um, you know what we're going to do as well? Let's take my bee house here, which just produced. I'm going to put it down there. Um, oh man, there's a lot of products that came in today. The shop's been busy. Uh, okay, you and you and you. Hey, kitty. You didn't think I was gonna make it, did you, cat? Cat was like, "Oh, the farm's gonna be all mine." Man, when I'm living the bachelor life, it's gonna be a thing. Crobes will come and be my roommate. Um. I'm just, I'm selling off a few things here and there. Uh, it does make it harder to dump stuff in this chest. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take a thousand stone out of here. Maybe that'll make my life easier. Okay, that takes up some space. <laughs> now, uh, I did have a fairy, I have a few fairy roses left for jazz. Okay, that's cool. Uh, can I even... Well, yeah, I can still give her gifts, can't I? Because I didn't actually... Where is Jazz now? Well, there we go. Like, we haven't even gifted her this time. So that that one's easy. Um. Anyway, alright, let's... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Grabbing stuff now. I've got things to do here, man. Uh, let's get all of our goodies. Yeah. Yeah, all of you. Good day. I don't think I saw the sheep yet. Hey, pig. It's amazing to me that they haven't completely gutted the, uh, all the stuff growing here yet. Oh. So I don't know what I did with my... my bait. Huh. All right. Perfect. Let's go load these up. Let's 
just load these up. And let's uh, we'll go grab this, put this in the spinner. Centrifugal force, that's how we deal with things. Um, let's put this on this. All right, and then you. Okay. All right, so let's take a... Uh, Put this milk back in the house, I think. We'll keep that. All right, um, yeah, uh, I've got some ores. We could still do that. There we go, I did have a whole pile. It's like, I must have some wheat in there already, right? There we go, there's my milk. Very good. Okay. Um, I guess I could actually take that and put this in here. Oh my gosh, I just have too much stuff is what I have. Okay, then we'll put our extra weapons in here. Go dump our coffee off. Can't be doing too much of that now. Okay, let's go check out our hardwood situation. Oh, we got some pine resin. Okay. So, this, yeah, these trees are really not coming in. <laughs> like, kind of, but, like, also kind of not. I don't know. Is there, is this, this stuff isn't too close. Let's go get our good stuff. I almost pull up those the sampler or the sea uh, seeds. Oh, okay. Hello. You wouldn't have to have a red snapper, would you? Chocolate cake, blueberry tart, carp, sunflower seeds, orange. Oh, I could buy an orange, I guess. It's an expensive gift, but uh, tempting. Wild plum. Woodcutters Weekly. Foraging experience. Six grand. I've got the cash, but I feel like I think we're probably okay. I don't know, it's kind of tempting. You know what the heck? Let's get it. Uh, it's probably an expensive way to buy that. I'm gonna buy an orange too. Okay. You've learned a few things about foraging, and uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I, I, I really am curious, like, how much XP is it? Like, how is it worth it, really? No idea. Hey, Blue Slime, what you doing here? Alright. Uh, Friday afternoon. Yeah, so that's, that's good. The gifting worked out really nicely. Oh, that one had an amethyst. Wow. It's like, I'm going to bring it home. I'm going to show all my friends. It's going to be the coolest. Everyone's going to be like, oh my gosh, slime, you're the best slime. Look at you. You found an amethyst. And then I got murdered on my way home. I'm so sorry, slime. Okay, we got one thing we can plant here. Oh, two mahogany seeds. Good. Did I go too far again? Oh my gosh, there we go. Okay, so let's go and... Yeah, we got two hardwood seeds. Let's get these in the ground. Thanks, cart lady. See you later. Alright, and then... Um, Oh crud, I threw that. I was gonna give Jazz uh, the fairy rose, but then I put it away. I don't think there's anything we need from Marnie. I yeah, maybe I should have I mean the other one grew right next to the fence though too, so maybe it's not a proximity issue. It just simply is not coming in yet. I don't know. I 
Okay. Yeah, those are coming in. Just slowly. It's always slower than you like when you got stuff to do. Alright, that's a decent haul. Alright, um... So what is the difference between this one? It's more powerful than a normal scythe. Okay, yep, cool. Scythe plus. Leave everything else. Let's just head in here. Gonna get this this time. The grape's gonna push me over the edge. Clint. Get cracking. Oh, we got a return uh, orb. A golden pumpkin. Now, I believe that I could just, yeah, it's valuable but it has no other purpose. So I'll be selling that, which is nice. Hello, there's Jazz. No, don't eat it, you fool. I like living on the farm. My favorite is the fresh uh, ice cream from the cow's milk. Now, did I give you? I think I gave you two. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll chat. How's it going? Sorry, my room is so messy. It's just hard to remember to clean. I'm always trying to get better, though. Yeah, your room's it's pretty nasty in here, dude. Like, I, I didn't want to say anything, but you should definitely get cleaning. Oh, I should have brought you a thing. No, right, I've already gifted you twice. You look puzzled. I guess the hot summer air can make us a little dizzy. Here, you're projecting. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe I am up dizzy. Maybe I'm always dizzy. Hey, bud. Business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. Okay, that's cool. Three, 315, you're already making the big sales. That's good to see. Okay, um... Oh, Sam. Okay, well, Sam was... We just walked past Sam. gonna watch here for a bit. Cool. All right. Hey, Sam. Huh. Give the cue ball a bit of top spin. Maybe I could. Let me go through here. Oh. Our particles have conjoined. We're part of some incredible experiment. I ended up watching the show Constellation with Numi Rapace. Or how do you pronounce her name? Um, uh, I don't have anything good to give you, Leah. It was... Uh, it was okay. <laughs> That's my report. Yeah, it was all right. It's funny I can trim the... Sorry, cow. It didn't do anything for you or me, but I, I cut the grass down there. Um, Yeah, she was really good. Uh, the show, you know, any of those multiverse or whatever... Entangled reality, tangled, you know, particles. It's any of those shows that deal with physics and stuff. They, I think they have a hard time telling good stories often. I, I don't know if that's just because it's the, uh, they have to, they're, they're assuming you have like zero knowledge or of anything. You never heard of stuff. So I don't know. I, I actually don't know what the reasoning is, but it's always like a little, I don't know. feels like, yeah, like they're just, it went on too long. I guess another thing, about my if I'm diagnosing things here. <laughs> um, I think one of the things is uh, the idea of, you know, a lot of the TV shows are now kind of following more of, I guess, a European model, it would seem. Where they're doing like, you know, uh, eight episodes instead of like what it used to be, which would be way too many. <laughs> Like 20. It's not following the old American TV. And I, you know, for pure economics, that makes sense. Um, let's go to. Uh, let's go to the mines. Um, so I think the last ep less episodes is good. But um, it also is like. 
sometimes it seems like they're confining themselves to getting uh, that many episodes done. Like, they seem a little too... Like, that's their goals. You know, we're going to get... We got, we're going to do eight. And then they, they stick to that, even though they don't need eight. They've got, like, a budget for eight, but, like, they don't have the material for eight. Or they're, they're dragging it out. Uh, definitely feeling like some of the series are suffering from that, where you're like, okay, you kind of cut this down to at least an episode out. Like, just it, too much for no reason. And not in an enjoyable, hey, you're really making this make more sense. It's just, a, uh, it feels padded. Um, that, that's what I'm finding out, like, the lot of TV now when I watch I'm like, ugh, this just feels like you're wasting my time. <laughs> just get to the point. Um, I love, you know, interesting narratives, but it's, uh, there's a lot of times when that narrative, it feels needlessly convoluted or needlessly, like they're covering the same material too much, or it's like it was clear what was happening, and you're like, why are we, why are we doing this? Why are we covering this so thoroughly? Anyway, I, yeah, I, I do feel like a lot of shows, or increasingly shows, I've, I've run into shows lately where I'm just like, well, this is just too long. <laughs> if it were a movie, it would be, it'd have to be a long movie, because you, you are talking about a lot of stuff, and it is fun watching more detailed, um, character development, but character, long character development and all that doesn't necessarily mean good TV, like... Not everything has to be, you know, pace of Mad Men. Which I think you know, a lot of shows thought that, that was the secret formula. It's just that we gotta have really detailed narratives that go on and we can be ponderous. And it worked for that, but there's a lot of shows where it just feels like... Yeah. Anyway, Constellation is one of those shows I felt like that. I was like, I, there was a couple episodes in the middle where I'm like, this doesn't, this is taking forever to get to a pretty basic place that you see coming a thousand miles. It's not like this, there's a surprise. <laughs> like, we know where we're going here. Just get us there. Maybe they assumed people couldn't really see it coming? I don't know. Any rate, uh, what's another one? Outer Range. Outside of me wanting to eat my own teeth uh, and seeing commercials, uh, I, I just I feel like I can't do it. The introduction of commercials into streaming is just like, please don't. <laughs> just, well, there's a reason people quit terrestrial TV so long ago. It's because it's a horrible experience. Propeller hat, really? Or, really? I got a propeller hat. This is it. We've made the big time. Well, yeah, this is the stuff. I, I can't spin it, but uh, I feel like we've achieved a whole new level. I think I got one of these from like a slime in the, the hard mode cave last time, didn't I? It was quite late when I actually got it. I wonder if it was added in 1.5 or something, or I don't know when the propeller hat was a thing. At least we're doing a significant amount of damage. Uh, frozen tier, whatever. To the ghosts. Gotta get those rock crabs, too. Gotta go with the lava layer next, I think. That was a decent amount of uh, critters in this one, wasn't there? Now, uh, have I, I've, I've seen... Have I? Maybe, maybe I haven't seen all the dwarf scrolls yet. I don't remember. No, I'm missing one. I'm missing dwarf scroll too. Huh. Well... <laughs> Okay, well that explains a lot. I, I totally wasn't paying attention to that fact. I thought I had them all, and then I was like, well, I'm, do I have to just keep gifting the dwarf? I couldn't remember the processor, but I, had, I thought I had already got all the scrolls. Well, I can't remember if I could get those just by mining stuff up, but we did get a secret note. Ancient Farming Secrets, line 37. There's no better helper than a raisin-fed Junimo. Well, 
That's interesting. So putting uh, Junimo, uh, raisins in the Junimo bin. Huh. I wonder what happens if you get like a double harvest or something? Alright, I think we're just gonna, we're gonna blast on home. It's remarkable that we do end up with like basically the right amount of inventory each time. Like, haven't had to leave too much stuff. It's working out pretty good. Yeah, so it's good we're getting a decent number of those as well. Um, so yeah, I don't have any blue. Okay, I'll take the diamonds out of here because we, we're good with that. Yeah, that's interesting. Huh. I'm trying to remember what uh, what you get. Like which one you're dealing with with that? Is if it if it specific kind of geode or what is it that's going to bring us that? All right, chuck those in there. Uh, I guess I'll crack. Sure, we may as well get roasting these up. Why not? Okay. Um, put the grape in there for now. The seaweed, I've got mammoth amounts of seaweed somewhere. There we go. 54 seaweed, that's good. And... I mean, I was enjoying the foraging hat, but I guess the beanie is our new lifestyle choice. What do you think, kitty? Is it cool? Are we cool? All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.